How about real time? <laughs> <laughs> Catching your breath a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Very good. The last time the Met did a new production of this opera, the Hoffman was Placido Domingo. And he was here on opening night of this production a few weeks ago. Did you know he was in the audience? And what's it like to step into the footsteps of this legendary tenor? I mean, Placido nowadays, Maestro Domingo is a living legend. <laughs> so I'm a bit uncomfortable having my name with his as I said. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I, I still have a um, long way to go to be anywhere near that level of career. But um, I'm building up slowly, and I hope um, I will continue going from strength to strength. And One thing at a time, right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In each of the acts, your character seems to have a different personality. Do you, how do you manage your character's quick transformation? I mean, Hoffman is in search of the ideal love. And this is why, the perfect love, more than ideal. And this is why he's, he's never happy. And uh, he's self-destructive, and um, he doesn't understand that. He thinks he's James, he thinks you know, somebody is cursing him, he thinks somebody is doing some kind of act of, of, um, ma of, of black magic. So it's, it's, um, he's, he's very, let's say, um, inconsistent as well. Well, I understand that you grew up in Malta. Yes. And how did you get into opera there? It's not exactly a major stop on the operatic circuit. Yes, I mean, they're watching now. Hello, Malta. <laughs> and and um, well, Malta actually has a, a, a big tradition of opera. We have one of the oldest Baroque theaters in, in the world, um, built in 1729. Mm -hmm. And we had, um, before unfortunately it was bombed in the Second World War, the Royal Opera House. Um, so there is a tradition, and I'm doing my best to, to um, reignite a bit the interest there as well. You and Anna Netrebko performed together earlier this year in La Boheme in Munich, but this is your first time singing together at the Met. What's different about working with Anna from other divas? <laughs> well, I mean, Anna has an incredible, um, and of course I've worked with, with, with many fantastic divas, but Anna has um, a stage instinct which is extraordinary. And I mean, the, the oh, and look, I, was, just, I was just talking badly about you. She came I mean, just she, the right moment to hear wonderful she, things she has, an amazing, she has an amazing instinct, and, she has, and I, I told her already, uh, personally, one of the most beautiful voices in the last, I think, 50 years to grace any, any you know, human soprano. It's, it's really wonderful. Well, thank you so much. We'll let you get back to thank the you dressing so much. room, have a little Maybe. bit of a, thank a you. rest. Bye -bye, thank you. Hello. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Congratulations on your thank fantastic, you. fantastic performance. What do you love about singing Antonia? <clears throat> it's short <laughs> and brilliant. To to that. <laughs> it's a beautiful music. I think it has the most gorgeous music in the whole opera. So. And your costumes are so glamorous in this show. You must love them. I love them and they're glamorous, they're very comfortable and I'm wearing a real chinchilla coat and real Prada shoes as a Stella. Okay, well, no, it's really a fake chinchilla coat that she's No, no, wearing. it's not. Shh. Your character is so frail, uh, but she gets to sing this glorious, glorious music. Is it difficult to sing those beautiful lines while your character is dying? Well, apparently it is. It's so difficult she can't make a comment. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Together with the hard work. Well, very but good. Hard work you will not see. <laughs> this is Joseph's first time singing Hoffman. Have you been impressed by his work on the character? Absolutely. I've been impressed. I really... <sighs> I think he has one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous tenor voices right now. Oh. And uh, the, the way he's developing, it's really fantastic. I'm so, so happy for him. Tell us a little bit about your collaboration with Bart Shear. Was it What was it like to work with him on this act? I love him. It was, uh, actually, it was very easy and to... We didn't work that much because he's, he needs to work for another act more than for Antonia. <laughs> it was pretty well, clear. No, you came knowing what you wanted to do. That's a great thing. And it's very, it's very clear there what, what she has to do. Of course, he corrected. Uh, it was. Thank you so much, Anna. It was Thank really, you. really, really beautiful. Thank you.